Okay, welcome back to the Think Bamboo podcast. Right now we are here with um, three wonderful women from the University of Hochschule uh, Kaiserlautern. So maybe uh, if you want to present yourself. Yes, okay, thank you. Uh, we are from the University of Applied Science in Kaiserslautern. My name is Karina Neff and I'm a civil engineer. Thank you, Karina. I'm Brigitte Alboster and I'm architect. In spring of uh, 2024, we want to build a community center in the Philippines uh, with uh, 60 students. Thank you. Uh, my name is Nina Groß and uh, I did my bachelor thesis with Bamboo and I'm still happy to join in the team. Fantastic. And um, you have a lot of uh, 3D plans or prototypes here, so I would love to show them to our viewers. Um, this one, the biggest one, uh, this is basically the Unity Center um, in the Philippines and this one, uh, we want to build it with the students and it's for the indigenous um, publication. Yeah. So this is for the local people there who yes. uh, would have then a, uh, a social place to um, to do things and the community meet, center to yes. meet and so on. This is all basically with bamboo, obviously. Yes. Yes, because it's in the Philippines and they have a lot of bamboo and it's tropical. So those are the plants from the side. We have the size, right? So this is like the human size. So it's going to be pretty tall, right? Yes. What are we talking about the height of this uh, community center? How, how tall will it be more or less? Actually, uh, not really know because uh, <laughs> she is not here anymore. Okay, okay. But, um, I think, yeah, if we calculate with a human um, size, it it's around four, four and a half meters. meters. I think, yeah. And those are two, like two different. Uh, there is, I think, here there's one line, and this is then the roof. They're like two, two stöcke or two, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is basically, this part is this part in 3D. Yes. All right. And the big question here, which we talked before, is the roof question, right? So um, it's not clear yet what material the roof will be because it's a highly tropical uh, climate and we have a lots of rain. And now, um, we have not decided um, which material we uh, use for it. For the roof, yeah. Because obviously, it probably it rains like two or three times a day there. So it's constantly humid and uh, you need to uh, choose very smartly what yes. type of yes, roof yes. you'll have. Yeah, it has to be durable uh, for 50 years. <laughs> exactly. <maybe. laughs> That's the challenging part. So the question here is the roof. Um, this is the biggest building. Now this one, the smaller one, quadratic one. Yes, yes for the people um, to live there uh, with their families. So like three rooms, I see. Yes, it's a modular system. Okay, that's and interesting. And can build it uh, by himself uh, very easily. This is the, the plan of that one, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so this is modular. That's why it's written module three, <laughs> or is it not? Okay, and it's always on top of the soil. Oh, this is a nice 3D view here. So yeah, yeah, classic. We have the chickens on the bottom. Yes. Yeah, that's that's the reality. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and this is probably the sleeping setup there yes. with hammocks. Yeah. Cool. Okay. And this is another version, probably of this one. Those are prototypes, right? Yeah. So uh, last semester we had a bachelor thesis where mm -hmm. we already had a lot of research and um, experiments with moduling and now we are trying to transform these first ideas and still are in a process. And so, so which one was first? Which one is like the last? What's the... What's the timeline? Is this one the first one or? Yeah, exactly. This was, this was the first, huh? Last semester, okay, the bachelor and thesis, and now these are three steps from transforming. Wow, I like this one. This is cool. <laughs> With the roof, we have for the air, 
the hot air always goes up and this would like be able to to um leave there this looks pretty cool this by the way is the best way to do uh prototypes for housing so little but uh it gives a good idea to see how it could look right <laughs> this part is like the other part house right yes so here it's also one part of the community center uh -huh. and also modular living okay um, yeah that's quite easy because you have uh, three little frames and it's easy to build up so only for the people there that it's quite fast and yeah. easy to learn also and simple because we have the window which is like a ship so it's easy and good if it rains you just close the window and no no big deal fantastic and those are like shifting doors here uh, like most of them most of them right yeah, yeah. okay cool. and this is like a patio on the inside right here <laughs> yeah Awesome. And how many square meters would this be, more or less, just to get an idea? So uh, we have we have this grid. It's two to two meters. Yeah. And um, yeah, here I want to show the different layers of the construction how, to get an idea how it will work on the um, bottom and uh, the roof mm -hmm. construction. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, and this is called, here we have it, Habitat for Humanity. Do you have a website or a, um, I don't know, a Instagram account or? The website is under construction, yes. It's under construction, <laughs> okay. okay. So we have an Instagram from the Hochschule Kaiserslautern. Yeah, okay. And we are right now trying to build up an Instagram for uh, the the project community yes. center yeah. so a private one and if it gets started we will show it up in the instagram okay. from the hochschule kaiserslautern yeah. okay fantastic thank you a lot and a lot of uh, uh energy to continue <laughs> <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> bye bye